Hi everyone, Vacha here from RecordingStudio9.com and thanks for joining me again today. Recently I did make uh, two demonstrational videos of Ample Sound AGM L2 Lite and ABPL2 Lite uh, using Traction T5 as my DAW, demonstrating how we can actually use the free version of Ample Sound's acoustic guitar and the bass guitar to create a song. Well, those two videos got noticed by Ample Sound and they contacted me and they were very generous and very kind enough to actually provide me a free license of both AGM and ABP, the full complete version. So I'm really, really grateful and thankful for them to actually provide me with the full version. This way I'll be able to run, install and demonstrate to you what the capabilities of the full versions of those two fantastic sounding VSTI instruments of guitars, the acoustic guitar and the bass. So I thought while I'm actually installing the software on my main PC, I'll do a video capture so you can follow up and uh, if you decide to purchase a copy, now you know how to install it. So just like before, I have installed software on my PC and demonstrated uh, the first impressions of them and how easy or hard or complicated uh, it is to install the software. So I'm hoping that this will be a great example as well. So let's uh, go ahead and find out how we can install AGM. It's going to double click. Yep. Next. Yes, I agree with the conditions, I guess. Next. That's fine. Yes. Now I think I'm going to select everything in there and uh, in case in the future I do have Pro Tools, I'll be able to use uh, the AAX versions, uh, VST2, the 32-bit and 64-bit and the host. We'll talk about the host later on as well. That, that uh, Ample Sound host is also included in the free version and it's a fantastic way to actually try them out and learn about it without opening up your DAW. So next, and install. So for this demonstration, I'm actually going to run the host and connect a MIDI keyboard and play the sounds. Okay, looks like uh, Virtual C++, a newer version is already on my PC, even though it comes up uh, you know, there's an issue. It's not really an issue because it says a new version is already detected and I don't have to install the old version which is included as part of the installation. So we just click close. And thank you. Next. And we finish off. Now I should mention that the light version is about just under 300 megabytes where the full version of AGM is download size of just under 4 gigabytes. So that's a massive difference, So which uh, I'm hoping to be able to hear once I start playing. Now that the installation was complete, there were menu items on my Windows system, and I just dragged a copy of the icon of the AS host into my desktop, which is right there. And basically what AS host does is like a VSTI host. So we will actually run my AGM as a standalone application. So I don't need to load it into any DAW and add it into a track and so on. I'd be able to have a play and listen without any DAW, which is a fantastic way to try something out, if you have an idea of a song and you just want to have an experimentation, then this is a perfect way. You just load it up and have a listen. So I'm just going to double click and run it. And there it is there, AGM2. Now before I can start, probably a good idea to set it up. So I'm just going to close it. Go to Options. 
Yep, already detected it that it wants to use my A-series keyboard. Now the next thing we need to do is select my audio device. And here I'm going to select my Yamaha. And that should be good. We're pretty much good to go. I might have to change the buffering. We'll find out. Because that's, that might generate a little bit of delay um, in while from the time I pressed the key on the keyboard and by the time that the sound will actually appear uh, at the output of my audio interface latency. So we'll have to sort that out. And we can even use keyboard. I'm not going to bother with that one because that, in case you don't have a keyboard, you can still use the keys on your um, computer keyboard to actually play the notes and make it work. So still available even if you don't have a keys, if you just load it on the laptop and so on. So that's what the keyboard is there. So let's run it. I can't wait. So that's quick load. I need to activate it. Since I've got seven days, I might skip that because that is something I'm sure you can follow the instruction from Ample Sound and get your version activated. I'm just playing the keys on the keyboard and hearing the sound coming out. This is standard uh, mode. I haven't touched anything. I haven't moved anything. Yeah, sounds really nice. It's got... I've got two keys. Obviously, you, in a real guitar, you can't play two notes on the same string. And the same thing... Same thing is happening here. As you can see, right down here, I've got a C pressed. But if I've got a press, it's just not going to... So it's really cool. Let's have a look at the strummer. We all know how great the strummer is.
Ah, it just sounds absolutely fantastic. And I'm not saying it because I've got um, Ample Sound guitar to um, given to me. I already mentioned that how great it sounds, even the free version, way before any of the sponsorship, I guess I can say it's a sponsorship or just um, a free gift for me to demonstrate um, uh, how great they actually sound. So I don't have to actually uh, <laughs> mention that. It's already fantastic sounding, really, really great. And I have been playing around with the, with the free version and I know there's quite a bit of new things in the full version, I can definitely say that the sound is much fuller and much, uh, much, much clearer in the full version, only because I guess the sampling is at 24-bit. It will definitely will sound much, much better. So, and I haven't even gone through the effects where you get a compressor, overdrive, EQ, chorus, phaser, and delay, and reverb. It's, it will just make your music of playing of the guitar it's just even greater. You know, I haven't gone even through uh, any of the editing of the samplers. Um, I haven't gone through the, uh, again, in, through the settings where you can adjust even more to your playing style. So it's really, really fantastic. And of course, the tab, and the tab is um, where you can get um, guitar tabs loaded and it will play for you. It's just absolutely fantastic. I, I mean, not being a guitar player, for me, this is just the closest thing I'm ever going to get. If you are a guitar player, you probably would say, no, nah, you can't, you know, it's not the same as uh, as a real guitar. Of course, it's not going to be the same as a real guitar. But comparing to someone who can't play the guitar um, and doesn't have much chance to actually play a real guitar, being able to have an acoustic guitar or the bass guitar or any of their electric guitars to be included in your music production as part of completing a song, we just cannot get any any better. I know there are quite a few other guitar, virtual guitar simulators out there uh, that I know. I already own a Sparkle as well, uh, which I use every now and then in the backing tracks for either my songs or client songs who are just vocalists where I actually create the backing tracks for them and they just um, do the, all the arrangement and they, they, they sing. And they can't even tell that it's either a real guitar or not. And just recently I did use the free version of Ample Guitar on one of my clients' track and it was just turned out really fantastic. Because it's in the background, it's adding that body to the song, it's adding dynamic to the song and making it sound so much better than just playing uh, on a keyboard, you know, with some synthesized strings and all, all of those things. It just brings out li- liveliness into the song and he didn't even know that it was actually... Uh, ample guitar and it's a simulated VSDR instrument he thought it was a real guitar and I, when I told him I can't play the guitar he, says he couldn't believe it and he couldn't tell the difference but as I said as a, if, if you are a real guitar player you will pick up whether if it's real guitar being played or not and again it all depends how well the arrangement is and how well uh, the guitar arc- articulations and all of those things are played in ample sound, that's going to make the difference. But as far as creating something where it just makes it that extra bit to make the song more lively, um, and if you cannot play the guitar, I guess you, you can't go wrong with ample guitar. I'm not saying that because I got given. This is my personal opinion because I already demonstrated 
the free versions of Ample Guitar and and told you how great it is my, with my personal opinion and guarantee. So I have to say again, thank you for Ample Sound for giving me the opportunity to even be more creative and include uh, the full version of Ample Guitar, the full capabilities of Ample Guitar in all of uh, my future personal or customer recordings. And I hope that I will make some more videos um, showing you how to make things even better, as I've demonstrated in the free version by adding two guitars and each guitar playing different uh, strumming style you make it, the song really fill up. To the average listener, listener, for them, it's a real guitar being played. And in this video, I also demonstrated how easy it was to install. Just follow next, 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 next. And you can use the, the Ample Sound host to actually be able to play it without running your DAW. Uh, musical creative ideas, your songs, arrangements, or the hook of your song that you want to work it out, then you can easily come come in, turn it on, play around, get all the different sound effects and all the different uh, articulations and um, capture that moment and then record it and where you go. Hopefully this was helpful for you. And if you have any comments, anything you want to know specific about Ample Sound Guitar, the full version, now you can ask me that question as well and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. If I don't know it, uh, because I'm still learning, it is still very new to me. Um, I've been playing with Ample Sound only for the last uh, six months or so. Uh, occasionally, now that I have the full version, I'll be playing with it more. So I'll be learning, and anything I don't know, I will experiment, find out, and let you know uh, the, the the answer. So hope, feel free to comment below. More than happy to answer them for you. And until next time, as always, thanks for watching. Cheerio.